This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Sunday, January the 20th, 2019. Today is Inauguration Day in the United States. Since 1937, it has taken place on January the 20th. The term of a president commences at noon Eastern Standard Time on that day when the Chief Justice of the United States administers the oath of office to the new president. Interestingly, when January 20th falls on a Sunday, as it does this year, the Chief Justice would administer the oath to the President on that day privately and then again in a public ceremony the following day. In 1961, John F. Kennedy was inaugurated as the 35th President of the United States today. He was the first Catholic to hold the office and the second youngest, just one year older than Teddy Roosevelt, who became President in 1901. In 2017, Donald Trump was inaugurated as the 45th President of the United States and the oldest person to assume the office. Today is the birthday of U.S. actor and sci-fi icon DeForest Kelly. Known to his friends as D, he played Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy on the original Star Trek series and the first six Star Trek movies. Kelly was was reluctant to take the sci-fi role because he didn't want to be typecast. And despite a good career in westerns prior to Star Trek, he was never able to work as an actor outside of the Star Trek universe again. He earned a living later in life by the so-called convention circuit, where he would be paid to attend and speak at Trek conventions. Kelly said in an interview that one of his biggest fears was that the words etched on his tombstone would be, He's dead, Jim. DeForest Kelly died in 1999, just shy of his 80th birthday. And today in 1993, we lost Audrey Hepburn. She was born in the Flemish part of Brussels in Belgium in 1929. And she moved to London just before her 20th birthday. And she took to the stage in the West End. She was beautiful and she had famously evocative eyes. In 1953, she landed the lead in Roman Holiday and began her rise to the top of Golden Age Hollywood. She won award after award for her work on stage and screen, and throughout her career, she devoted herself with increasing time and energy to UNICEF, assisting children affected by war. And of course, her own youth was spent in the midst of World War II in her native Belgium. She died today in 1993 and is remembered as an icon of class, of style and of humanitarian effort. When asked for a quote about her life, she said, how shall I sum up my life? I think I've been particularly lucky. Here's a poem for today by Audrey Hepburn herself called The Beauty of a Woman. The beauty of a woman isn't in the clothes she wears, the figure that she carries, or the way she combs her hair. The beauty of a woman must be seen from in her eyes because that's the doorway to her heart the place where love resides. The beauty of a woman isn't in a facial mold, but true beauty in a woman is reflected by her soul. It's the caring that she cares to give, the passion that she shows, and the beauty of a woman with passing years only grows. The Beauty of a Woman by Miss Audrey Hepburn, who died in 1993. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. And until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.